Everton versus Liverpool in the big Merseyside derby. It's coming up on Wednesday. It'll be the same kickoff as the Man City game. It's going to have me busy watching two games at the same time. Because as everybody knows, right? Everybody knows I'm a closet Liverpool fan, right? Everybody knows that. <laughs> That's what people have been saying, man. But look, the reason why I actually go so hard when it comes to the Liverpool content and I make sure I get that out to use because I do have a lot of Liverpool subscribers and supporters on the channel and i absolutely do appreciate that okay i just want to put it out there i do appreciate that a hundred percent and i'm gonna keep it going man i'm gonna keep it going that's what i'm here to do deliver the content whether it's on liverpool chelsea united city that's what i'm here to do for you it just so happens that the liverpool fans gravitate to me you know and i do appreciate that man thank you much love and respect to y'all. All right, so let's talk Liverpool versus the Evertonians here. Merseyside Derby, 58 total matches in the Premier League era with 24 draws, 10 wins for Everton and 24 wins for Liverpool here. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. Liverpool do have 10 away wins against Everton. This is good, good stat. When you think about it, Brentford won Everton nil in their last game and Liverpool four, Southampton nil in their last. Look, what happened last season? Liverpool fans would not want to remember what happened last season at all, right? But it's the first game on October 17th, 2020. The game ended in a 2-2 draw, but it was the game that potentially ended Liverpool's hopes of defending their Premier League title because Virgil van Dijk was absolutely taken out in the 11th minute by Jordan Pickford. Sadio Mane had scored in the third minute. Michael Keane equalized in the 19th. Salah took Liverpool ahead in the 72nd. And Dominic Calvert-Lewin, who's currently injured, Equalizing the 81st to give Everton a point. It was a very high-intensity game. And I know a lot of Liverpool fans would want to forget about that one, though. So, I won't continue talking about that one. You know what I mean? I'm going to have a bit of empathy for y'all there. But let, let, let's, let's hope nobody gets seriously injured in this one. Because we want teams at their fittest. When it comes to challenging for the Premier League title. Because I don't want to hear no excuses about no injury. And I don't want to hear no excuses from no Liverpool fan. From no Chelsea fan. When Man City go on to win the title come May. I'm just joking with y'all man. You know what I mean? It's all, uh, it's all entertainment man. Calm down and chill. Alright? Come on. Come on. It's all entertainment. I'm just messing with you. So anything could happen, man. Anything could happen. There's what? 25 games to go? United could get 75 points if you... You know what I mean? You never know, man. They just brought in Magic Man Ralph Ragnick, right? All United fans think it's a magic... They just brought in a magician, right? Just put that out there. So, look. The last 10 games. Everton did beat Liverpool 2-0 at Anfield last season. Everton would be the home team, and that's been their only win across the last 10 games. That was their first win at Anfield in God knows when. So, everyone was going to Anfield and taking their share with Richarlison and Guilford Sigurdsson scoring the goals there. Liverpool did not do well against Everton last season. And in the last three games, Everton are unbeaten against Liverpool, right? And they have fair bit of draws in the last 10 dating back to 2017 against the Reds. Couple nil-nil draws, well three of them a 1-1 one -one draw and a 2-2 two -two draw last season along with that one win. So not bad at all, not bad. So if you, if you, if you want a team to actually pick points off Liverpool it's going to be Everton. Whether they get three, a rare three points or whether they pick, pick up one point from the Liverpool game, right? But, look. Everton right now are 
hampered big time but they would be boosted by the availability again of richarlison after that suspension abdullah dukori very busy midfielder is fit again but andre gomez yeremina dominic calvert lewin and mason hallgate who is suspended would be out absent for this game rafa benitez versus jürgen klopp here this will be the eighth meeting between these two teams and rafa has only one win against klopp four losses and two draws with klopp having the opposite results four wins two draws and a loss against everton klopp only lost once that came last season five draws seven wins rafa benitez versus liverpool two wins three draws and three losses interestingly rafa benitez is a legendary former liverpool manager and it was somewhat blasphemous when he took the Ever everton job it was a shock seemed even desperate that he went and took the job 350 games managed for liverpool in six years between 2004 and 2010 he won the FA Cup, the Champions League at night in Istanbul. He won a UEFA Super Cup and he won the Community Charity Shield as well. And he's under immense pressure coming up against his old club, Liverpool, and Jurgen Klopp. For Liverpool, Naby Keita, Joe Gomez, who's been linked with a move out of the club. Harvey Elliott, Roberto Firmino, and Curtis Jones remain out. So, look, did you know that Everton won 2 0 in their last Premier League game against Liverpool, ending a 20 game winless run against them in the competition? They've not won back to back league Merseyside Derby since beating them in both meetings in 1984 85. Liverpool are unbeaten in their last 10 Premier League away games against Everton since a 2 0 loss in October of 2010. However, eight of their last such nine visits have finished level, including each of the last four in a row. In the Premier League history, Everton versus Liverpool has seen more red cards, 22, and been drawn more often, 24, than any other fixture. The Merseyside Derby has also seen more 98 minute winning goals than any other match in the competition with all of these being scored by liverpool ronnie rosenthal in 1993 gary McAllister in 2001 Dirk Hoot in 2004 sadio in 2016 and divac origi in 2018 you could remember that double doink divac origi goal right off the pick foot oh man oh, memories right everton have only lost one of their last 13 midweek tuesday wednesday thursday premier league games winning seven and drawing five going down 3-1 to manchester city in february last season of course it had to be city right liverpool have scored at least twice in each of their last 17 games in all competition the joint longest such run in the history of an english top flight side level with sunderland back in 1927 Listen, man, my prediction for this game, look, Everton, they, they, are, they are depleted, big time, big time depleted. No Calvert-Lewin, Richarlison just coming back in the team, no Andre Gomez, no Yerry Mina at the back. They, they just been all over the place, man. Rafa is under a lot of pressure right now. I, I, is, he's under so much pressure that I almost feel sorry for the man but i'm not into the business of feeling sorry for people these days you know what i mean you, you should feel empathy but <laughs> gotta be a little bit more ruthless you see what i'm saying so it is what it is it's, the, it's, it's, it's part of the business but the results so far lately one nil loss to Brentford, three nil loss to City, and you you hear the, 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 the nil nil draw to Tottenham. They've not scoring enough goals. Solomon Rondon not cutting it, and Rafa Benitez is reluctant to use the Turkish international Jen Tucson. Alex Iwobi. These guys need to step up. Townsend, Gray, you gotta step up. 
Got to have some more goals from the midfield. The defenders got to start chipping in. 2-1 loss to Wolves. 5-2 loss to Watford. And I spoke about this. I spoke about this in yesterday's live stream. When I did the roundup for match week 13. They lost to, to, to West Ham. Due to United, it's been a very horrible run for Everton. They lost to Villa. It's been, they started the season well, you know. They started well. They had a good August. Not bad at all. Not bad. But it's, it's gone pear-shaped very fast. And it's not looking good for them. For the You know what I mean? The, the next couple of games ain't looking good at all, man. You know what I mean? Like, you got Liverpool. You got Arsenal. You got Palace. You got Chelsea. Teams in very good form. Leicester. And as I mentioned, Rafa Benitez, I'm sorry to say, he could be the next manager sacked. We could see what? How many managers sacked so far? Is about six? We might actually get the, the season where about eight managers could get the sack. That, that's that's record-breaking numbers right there. Liverpool, they have been pretty consistent this season in the Champions League, the League Cup, in the league as well. Just lost their first game of the season against West Ham. Bounce back against Arsenal. Bunks back against Southampton. And I, I cannot see nothing else but a Liverpool win against a struggling Everton team here. But then again, it's the derby and anything could happen in this game. Anything could happen. I don't think Everton would win the game. Don't think they would win the game. They need a win. They need to turn their fortunes around. But I don't think this is the game they're going to do it in. Liverpool, they got to be very, very careful. Very careful here. Because we know what happened last season. They didn't beat Everton last season. And they, they come out and play like prime Barcelona. They're rough. They're in your face. They're direct. And this game... Could be a game that could affect the season big time. Liverpool, be careful. <laughs> be careful against this Everton team. Their back's against the wall. They're a penned animal. They're going to be very dangerous. Be, ca be careful. But nevertheless, with that being said, I think Liverpool are going to walk this game 2-0. I don't see them conceding. Even though... They may allow Everton a few chances. But I, I, I don't see no way that Jota Mane and Salah is going to be stopped here. And there's goals around the park as well. 2-0 to Liverpool. 2-0. That's my, that's my prediction. Let me know yours. So, for Everton, the next game will be against Crystal... No, against Arsenal. And then they have Crystal Palace and Chelsea. And for Liverpool, the Reds. You see, I'm dressed in all red today. I'm only trolling, though. Just want to put it out there. And <laughs> Liverpool play Wolves, then Milan in their next game. So let me know your thoughts, guys. Appreciate it.